YouTube, Darlington Farm here. Well, I am actually making a video here. I've been insanely busy lately, but I gotta make an adapter to go from this earth auger bit that I modified a while ago, basically, that attaches to one of those handheld weed eater type, you know, two stroke drills and stick it on my Kubota. Uh, what we're doing is we are drilling holes for this. Think so. All right, so what you saw there is called a buffalo seismic source. It is basically a T that screws in the ground with a firing pin that runs down through it to an eight gauge shotgun shell that is packed with an ounce of black powder, detonates at three foot below ground, and makes an awesome seismic source. Basically, what that does is that sends a shock wave through the ground, and you have a line of geophones lined out, which are basically really sensitive microphones. The waves propagate down from the explosion, hit various layers in the rock, bounce back up as reflections to the geophones, and from that you can actually make a really cool looking map. And you can see what's down there. In our case, we are looking for structures. We are looking for reefs, pinch outs, uh, lenticular, porosity, basically anything that would harbor oil. Anyway, so what I got to do is make these holes efficiently. Right now we have, like I said, a hand drill and it takes four minutes a hole. Way too slow. I think I can stick that on my Kubota. Um, but as you can see here, this has a drastically different, let's see if it'll focus right there, drastically different uh, connection. This just, you know, the drill bit sticks in there. You run your bolt, your shear bolt through here, and then this attaches to the auger. Uh, what I'm going to do is I've got some pipe here. I think it's actually muffler pipe, but I'm going to turn that into an adapter to where I can stick this in there, and then slide this guy out here onto. My post hole digger, which is right there, but it has a mount like this that just slips up on there. And then you have two bolts that go through there. So that's today's project. And I'm hoping we can speed this up by just taking my Kubota along there instead of that crappy little weed eater. So yeah, I'm gonna put the camera down here and get to work. So what I did there is I just chucked this up into a lathe chuck here uh, just to put a nice true edge on the piece of pipe here so I can go ahead and weld my plate in here and have it be nice and flush. So then I can go ahead and um, put a 7 8 hole in it right there so I can just go ahead and slip my piece of bar stock in there and kind of make a quick and dirty little deal here.
All right, so now I basically have to drill the center of the shaft here, and there's a really easy way to do this if you have a DRO on your mill. Basically, you zero it on one side of the bar stock, crank it over to the other side, take that measurement, multiply it by 0.5, and then you have the center line of your shaft. Really super easy way to do that. Um, you know, I'm no machinist, but it makes it fast. Anyway, I'm going to put the camera down here and get back to doing some drilling. All right, so I just did a quick and dirty uh, location of the center here using my center finder. This is just an attachment you would have like on a normal uh, machinist square. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use like a center finder bit in the middle here, which if you've never seen one of those, let me see if I can find one for you here. And of course my air compressor kicked on. It is just a little tiny carbide bit meant for locating the center of a hole. Alright, so like I said, there's the center finder bit. I'm just going to pop a little hole. So if you are using a twist drill like this, generally these drill about 10 thousandths oversized. So if you have a 7 8 shaft, 7 8 bit should just fit perfectly. So the shop cat's been helping me here, and uh, let's see if I can show you this guy. Uh, it turned out pretty well. Um, I actually didn't take any video of it before I went ahead and used it, but it worked out very well. Just slips up on there nice and tight. The only issue I'm having is my PTO U joint here is rubbing in there, and I got to figure out what to do about that next. Because um, when this is raised up there, it is at a really steep angle down there, and I'm not exactly sure what I, whether I'm just going to try and oh do a little bit of grinding on these, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. Just something quick and dirty to where I can kind of get this thing in operation, because I think we're going to try and use it next week. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please check back the channel for some more welding oil drilling, wacky content. Thank you for watching.